So here's how we set up the VESC. Um, this is how I have it set up, or at least connected. I have a regular 4S LiPo battery connected to an on-off switch with the on-off switch and it loops, goes into the VESC. And then we have it plugged into the motor. So the way we're gonna do this is once everything's connected, battery, on off switch, VESC motor, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and you'll see three flashing lights on the back. Once those three lights flash, you are good to connect. So we're gonna go to the BLD BLDC tool. You're gonna go ahead and click on connect and you'll get all the current settings that's enabled right now. Um, you'll go ahead and read configuration and that will read what the current configuration is. So we did that and then you'll see on the bottom right, well, that one doesn't do it. Usually all your status updates will be here on the bottom right. Well, we're not connected. That explains things. Here we go. So we're po we'll power cycle again. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Wait for the three flashing lights. And then we'll go back here and we'll hit connect. And then you also see on the bottom, it will say connected. VESC firmware version. 4.18 and then we'll go here to read configuration and you'd read the latest configuration that's on the VESC so the first things that you want to know is this is your motor max amp this is braking amps and this is the max amps for your battery and the max regen when you break to your battery Absolute max you could leave alone, the MOSFET, motor start, all these values you could leave alone. These values on the bottom you could leave alone as well as the ones up here. What you probably do want to change, minimum and maximum is okay because typically 12S is the max we use for electric skateboards. What you do want to change is battery cutoff start. For depending on how many cells that you have for your setup, you want to do 3.5 volts for battery cutoff start. And for battery cutoff end, it's going to be 3.2, 3.3. Um, if you want your battery pack to last a little longer, you can go higher. Um, maybe 3.6, 3.7, and then your battery will be stressed a lot less and so then you'd get more life cycles out of it so once you know what pack you're using what your voltage is you can input it in here times it by how many cells you have in series so next is BLDC so if you have a specific motor um, no matter what for VESC you will need to detect your motor and it will automatically detect it and it will give you some parameters which you need to adjust so you'll see here I'm gonna go ahead and click on start detection and it's gonna spin and try to detect all right so it's spun and detect and this is the new value so what you want to do is move up here to the integrator limit and the original one was 104 after we detected and integrator limit you want to round to five or five points. So you could either do 100, 105, doesn't really make a, too big of a difference. And you can see for BMF, BMF uh, coupling, um, you want to round to the nearest 50. So that's rounding down 
So I put 900. And once you input that, you could go ahead and hit right configuration. And then you can also use the, the front uh, right and left keys to control the motor. So as far as that's concerned, you pretty much did the motor detection. You set your VESC parameters for as long as your battery cutoff, battery cutoff end. And you can then go to app configuration. If you're using a regular RC remote, you wanna go ahead, go to general, click on PPM, and then, or you could click on PPM UART. Um, we're gonna go ahead, right configuration. Then you can see on the bottom, it turns green and it writes to it. Next thing is you wanna to go to PPM and then current, no reverse with brake. Most of all these settings are perfectly fine and you want to write configuration too. And that is pretty much it as far as configuring it in BLDC. Where is that? That's right here. So as sensorless BLDC, that is your current setup. And then all you need to do is go ahead and click disconnect. And then you can go ahead and uh, set it up. That's it for this tutorial.